Hello Drupalers! In today's video we are gonna discuss how to translate a custom block created from code. So for this I have a custom module, very basic. It only has a block that has one simple text field and a field set with two other text fields and that's it. And the build method simply displays those values, nothing special. This is how it looks in the front end and in the back end as you can see we have the three fields that I mentioned previously. But now, if we want to translate the block, for example, let's take Spanish. We want to add a new translation, but when we go there, we don't see our fields. So what we need to do for this is to create a new file in config schema. Called, in our case, potato blocks. So the module name dot schema dot yaml. If you already have this file, you just need to modify it. And then we have to define the schema for our uh, custom fields in our block configuration. So the name of our configuration must be block dot settings. And then we have to take the ID of our plugin and put it as the third part of the name. And then for the type, we are going to use block settings because we want to kind of extend the block settings that we already have on the parent block. And then we are going to define each field in the mapping. So we are adding the first one, which is a simple text. We are going to say it's a text and we're just going to clear the cache and see if we see it in the translation because we, we should already see it there. And here it is, simple text default. So we have our first field. We could also add a label for our simple text if we want to change it. Otherwise, the default will be taken, which is text. Yeah, as you can see, after a clear cache, we have the label. So the label is not mandatory, but you can customize it. And now for the field set, we are taking first the field set name. And then we are going to define it as a mapping. And inside the mapping, we are going to define the two children, the first text item and the second text item. They have to have the same name as in the configuration. So all of them will be of type text in our case. And now if we clear the cache and then refresh the page, we see here a new field set called mapping and we can see our two fields. And now we are able to translate our block. I'm just gonna modify the current values and add the language code at the end for Spanish to test if this is working. And as we saw with the simple text, we can define a label for even for the mapping. So if we set here grouped items, then we should see that the mapping changes from mapping to grouped items. And now if we go back to the site and we choose Spanish, we can see that the values are translated. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.